I, you know, you gotta shoot the tires whenever, whenever you can. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of LSPDFR. Today we are running Los Santos County Sheriff's Office. Uh, before we get started, I do want to thank everybody. Uh, we made it. We surpassed 300 subscribers at the time of recording this episode we are at 307 so if you are new to my channel you're new to the lspdfr series i highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you don't want to miss any new videos i upload daily sometimes i might not upload um but that's just because of stress or health related uh, concerns but um you know <laughs> it is what it is i can't always upload but uh, primarily, uh, for the most part, I do upload daily. Uh, but um, if you watched yesterday's episode, you'll know that LSPDFR crashed on me. So we're going to check uh, the court cases from yesterday. Uh, Lucas Outlaw. We arrested him uh, for fleeing or attempting to elude LEL. He's the one that um, drove away. Uh, he was fleeing uh, his girlfriend or uh, f whoever he was with she shot at us and she unfortunately lost her life um, but we'll reveal the outcome here he got uh, two years in prison wow fined nine hundred and three dollars uh, for fleeing or attempting to elude leo his citation for reckless driving fined five hundred dollars wow and then Corey puckett um unlawful possession of firearm when did we arrest this guy no. Okay. So this this was actually not featured in yesterday's episode. Um, it was a part of the recording, but uh, there were some bugs and issues that happened during this traffic stop, so I did not feature that in the episode. So uh, Lucas Outlaw is the only guy. So right now we'll actually delete all of the court cases so we can start fresh. But again, we are running Los Santos County Sheriff's Office down here in Los Santos. Right now we're in the Chumash uh, area. Uh, so yeah, let's get uh, on patrol. E108. Again, I just want to thank everybody for the support. We are a little less than 600, a little less than 700 away. I'm sorry, uh, from 1,000 subscribers, and that's that's insane. Uh, and I I just started this LSPDFR series a little, you know, less than a month and a half ago. So it, it's crazy how how fast it's. What the? F oh my God. Okay, yep, this guy's getting pulled over. Dispatch, I'll be out here on East US Route 1, uh, behind a, uh, I guess that's a taco truck. We're gonna go ahead and light him up here. He decided that it was a good idea to nearly run us off the road. Good grief. Hopefully he pulls over. We'll see. But yeah, once I'm at 1,000 subscribers, I'll have a community tab here on the channel so I can post uh, channel updates uh, and all that fun stuff. So that will be pretty cool. Let's cancel the stop and then try it again. Better pull over, bro. I don't know what is going on. People just don't pull over. <laughs> okay, what is he doing? Dude, pull over. Dude, seriously. Pull the vehicle to the side of the road. There you go. <laughs> Good grief. Dispatch, I will be out uh, with a taco truck, East Interstate 2. I'm going to get a vehicle check on uh, 05 Charlie Yellow Paul 946. Oh, expired Zero registration. Would you Charles look at that? <laughs> a traffic violation. Approach with caution. Okay, so we'll go ahead and talk to him. Looks like the owner is Mike something. Don't know how to say that. <laughs> we'll go ahead and see what's up. Good evening, sir. Uh, Deputy Brandon with Los Santos County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is back there on uh, US Route 1. Y you nearly hit me, man. Uh, yep. We're switching lanes, and I, I don't know if you have a blind spot or what, because, uh, you know, this is a big uh, big truck, but y you nearly hit me, man. Um, you have a license 
proof of insurance and registration. When I ran the information with dispatch, it actually looks like the registration on this vehicle is expired. Let me go double check that and I'll be right back with you, okay? And, and just real quick, have you been drinking? You haven't had anything to drink? I have the right to shut the fuck up. Okay, you know what? Okay. I'll be right back. Sit tight. This guy. This guy's off to a uh, rough start with me. <laughs> um, I have the right to shut the fuck up. There it is. He's Louise. Let's check here. He has a gun permit. Uh, concealed carry. Uh, let's see. He has one prior in 2020. Unlawful uh, to operate a bicycle on a highway. Vehicle records. Yep. Expired registration. No, he was a uh, sort of an asshole to me, so I'm going to be an asshole back. We're going to give him a citation. Wait, actually, when did that? Uh, oh, well over 30 days. Jeez Louise. People need to update their damn registration. Expired registration 30 plus days. And do unsafe operation on road highway. He just switched lanes and nearly hit me. So <laughs> we'll tack those citations on. And give those to him. Alright, sir. Today you are going to be getting a citation of $715. If you could sign it here for me. Uh, that's going to be for the expired registration over 30 days. And the, um, the unsafe operation on, on uh, roadway, highway. You, you just nearly hit me, man. You just gotta be careful, okay? Um, you, you have a good night. And... Uh, Stay safe. Yeah, well. Issue that citation. Now he he's he nearly ran me off the road. Jeez. What is with people wanting to run LSCSO off the road? God. But I hope you guys are having a good Saturday so far. Uh let me know what you have planned for the weekend. For me, I'm just sitting back, relaxing after a long uh week of work. <laughs> um so yeah, just let me know uh, what you have planned for the weekend in the comment section down below. If you're doing anything exciting. Oh, we got Ill, uh, Illegal Underglow right there. Go ahead and uh, make contact with this guy. Run the plate first. Dispatch, can I get a check on a uh, Sabert uh, 80... Zebra November Zebra 668 oh, expired insurance there it is yeah he's got a uh, couple traffic violations fired insurance and illegal underglow I think I'm at the point now where um, I'm not really going to care as much if it's uh, a different color um, than red or blue uh, so, I think we'll sort of RP it as they're passing a new law in San Andreas where you can have underglow, but if it's red or blue, that's a problem. So, we'll pull this guy over because that law hasn't been passed yet. We'll just RP it as if the law has been passed in the next episode. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's, let's just do that. I think that's, you know, that way we're not pulling everybody over with underglow. Woo-wee! That's a ride. <laughs> um, I think that's a little bit... Uh, yeah, again, that way we're not... You know, it's not repetitive. I'm pulling everybody over with uh, Underglow. So, go ahead and pull this guy over for now. Jeez, what? Dude, it's green. It's... Okay. <laughs> pull him over here. Okay, he had expired insurance. Uh, vehicle appears to be occupied. Times one. Dispatch, I'll be out with a black Sabert. Uh, South Power Street, Pillbox Hill. Get out and talk to him. See what's up. Good evening, sir. Deputy Brandon with Los Santos County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is uh, the... Un unfortunately, the underglow on your vehicle is unlawful in the state of San Andreas. Um, and upon checking your vehicle uh, license plate, it appears that your uh, insurance is expired. Do you have uh, license, proof of insurance, and registration? If you have insurance, let me know. We can just update that in the system. 
Yeah, he gave me his insurance card. Uh, give me one second, uh, Mr. Jen Jen Jenkiniski. <laughs> I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, so he gave us his insurance card. We'll check it and double check. Maybe dispatch just uh, does not have an updated record. Vehicle records. I don't know. Yep, it's expired. June of uh, 2021. Jeez. All right, so expired insurance and equipment. Neon underglow prohibited while in motion. We'll submit those citations there. And again, uh, in the next episode, we'll RP it as if uh, a law has been passed in the state of San Andreas um, where you can have underglow as long as it's not red or blue imitating law enforcement. All right, Mr. Uh, uh, Jake and Niski, uh, you're going to be getting a, a citation of $330 tonight, unfortunately, for the unlawful uh, underglow uh, and uh, the expired insurance, okay? Just make sure you get the vehicle insured. If you get stopped for either, just show the officer uh, your ticket, and you should be fine. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your night and stay safe, and uh, yeah, have a good one. Yeah, two traffic stops. A little bit more realistic, maybe... Maybe we'll get into some action later tonight, but <laughs> for the most part, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just act. It, it's, you know, GTA. It happens. <laughs> Dispatch, you can show us back 10-8. Uh-oh. Reports of a vehicle blocking traffic in Pillbox Hill. Right over here. Respond code 2 to that. Dispatch, you can show us back 10-8. All right, so we are... Dispatch, you can show us back 10-8. Uh, Dispatch, you can show me back 10-8. So we are back on patrol. Maybe we'll find... Oh, there's a traffic stop right there. Pretty cool. <laughs> you see that Vinewood sign from all the way down here? There's a picture going around, um, uh, rumored to be a possible house from Grand Theft Auto 6. So, uh, if you're just now hearing about this, feel free to go Google it, or you can YouTube it, or, or whatever, but apparently in the, uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Definitive Edition, there's a picture frame with a, uh, modern-looking Florida home. Almost looks like my childhood ho childhood home growing up. <laughs> Um, oh, jeez. Reports of a motor vehicle accident. We'll go ahead and respond to that. Respond code 3. Dispatch, you can show me attached. Responding code 3. But yeah, go check that out. It's a... it's a, Apparently, it's a picture frame in the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas uh, Definitive Edition that shows a modern-looking Florida home. Um in the picture frame and a lot of people are like hey this this might be gta 6 or like an easter egg hinting towards it so pretty interesting stuff coming through people coming through we got a motor vehicle accident up here dispatch you can show me on scene will be um westbound interstate 2 uh the far right far right lane uh will need to be closed or we'll just slow down traffic we'll slow traffic down we'll check this out here Get a vehicle check on a Speedo 89 India Whiskey Romeo 108. Michael. Target is 10-4. Dispatch, we have one uh, appears to be deceased in the vehicle. Um, we're going to request uh, EMS down here. Yeah, and that's uh, northbound Interstate 2. We'll get EMS down here, see if they can revive him. If not, unfortunately, it's going to be up to the, the... Oh, my God! Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, man, what's going on? Yep, we got one in the driver's seat. Dude, fire truck, what are you... 
doing? Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing they can do, apparently. They didn't even try to revive him. We can try ourselves, I guess. <laughs> well, so much for them. Jeez Louise. Yep, CPR is failed. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the coroner down here. Unfortunately. But before we do that, let's search his body. Let's see. Okay, now you guys get out. It, it, the, the, the job is done. EMS has already left. They dragged him out and just left. <laughs> uh, so it is uh, Michael uh, Jonas burnt meth pipe. Well, he was probably under the influence of uh, narcotics and hit something. Or something. Uh, and we'll search the vehicle as well. Let's see... AR-15 rifle. Wow. Dispatch, can I get a uh, corner unit down here? Uh, northbound lane, uh, Interstate 2. I'm sorry, that's going to be uh, westbound. Here they come now. We'll go ahead and get the vehicle towed as well. Yeah, not much we can do. I, I don't know um, if he is at fault, if he just hit something, or somebody hit him, or he hit someone, and they just left, but... You know, no. The, I mean, obviously he's deceased in this situation, so there, there might be a little bit more of an investigation that goes into this, but... Dude, can you get out of my way? Clear traffic control, and uh, I'll be back 10-8. Dispatch can show this scene, uh, code 4. The dispatch, I'll be west Interstate 5 behind a uh, gray in color van. Uh, the driver just seems to be careless, carelessly driving in pursuit now. Can I get local patrol involved with me? This is now an active pursuit here. We're at low rates of speed, 40 miles an hour going over uh, the bridge now over Los Santos International. Vehicle appears to be occupied times one. Low rates of speed. Good. Let's box him. Come on. Let's make this nice and smooth. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Dispatch, uh, I'm going to request a pit on this vehicle once we uh, get off the bridge here. We are clear to uh, perform the pit. Low rates of speed. 40 miles an hour. Uh, U.S. Route 20 eastbound. We'll pit the vehicle once we're off of uh, the bridge and out of this industrial area here. Jeez. All right, we are now off the bridge. We're still uh, we're eastbound U.S. Route 20. Going to go in for a uh, light pit maneuver here. Try to hit him here. And... Nope. Pit unsuccessful. Oh, okay, you just rear-ended a... Person. That van's got it's got a pearlescent paint on it. Driver, out of the vehicle now! Out of the vehicle! I you know, you gotta shoot the tires whenever whenever you can. <laughs> Dispatch an update on the description of the vehicle. It is uh, gray in color with a pearlescent paint. Uh red with a reddish uh, pearlescent paint. Try to hit him here. Come on, man! You better, you better pull over. We're uh, northbound. Driver, out of the vehicle. Watch crossfire. Watch crossfire. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, man. I think they're going to arrest him because it won't let me stop him. Yeah, looks like they're going to uh, go in for the arrest. Uh, we'll get a, we'll search the, uh, we'll get a uh, vehicle check here. Vehicle check on a Speedo 03 Delta uh, Tango Juliet 149. No insurance. Is that why you're running, man? Brian Dan. Let's go ahead and search the vehicle here. You're under arrest. Fedora and a tennis racket. 
Brian Dan. Let's see if that will come up in our uh, computer here. Yeah, Brian Dan. Oh, that is definitely not the guy we just stopped. Oh, this is the guy we just stopped. He's valid. No active uh, warrants. Uh, he's got a clean record, but he doesn't have a clean record now, unfortunately. <laughs> Go ahead and get the vehicle towed. Uh, but after that, that will do it for this episode of LSPDFR. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series uh, so far. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying, you know, doing these episodes. So, if you want to see more of them, be sure to hit the like button. It just lets me know that you guys want to see more. Uh, and if you are uh, new to the channel, again, I do highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And, uh, it, yeah, it would just be super, super cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and check our court cases for the day here. Uh, we got Mike, the guy we uh, arrested for... Un actually, no. Not arrest, but we gave a citation to uh, for unsafe operation on highway uh, and expired registration. This is the guy that almost hit, ran me off the road. Find $509. I don't know what it started off as. Um, and then ju uh, Justin with the underglow and the expired insurance... Find three hundred and eighteen dollars again with the neon underglow in the next episode, and from that point on, we'll just RP it as the uh, as if the law has changed in the state of San Andreas, where you can legally have underglow unless it is red or blue, um, imitating law enforcement uh, colors. So if it's like you know pink or yellow or green, I'm not really going to care because it. I, don't want to get repetitive and pull so many people over that have the neon underglow. But again, that will do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video right here on the channel. Until then, take care.